Well, this this was the house too where you but see my grandfather when the granddad died, 2008, December 21st, 2008. So um this is where I was young. I was young. I was about 11. When my yeah, I was about 11 years old, and my grandfather had pancreatic cancer, and uh, he, this is where he passed away, and I was here, and I, that was the kind of a, I, I was too young to kind of take in the moment, honestly. But when I look back on it, I, that's when it starts to kind of hit me. Uh, I had a strong relationship with my grandfather as well, uh, with my grandmother, uh, but he. My granddad, he he was my dude. He he gave me my first phone. I only had his number. He was the one that called me all the time. So it, made, <laughs> it made me feel so important. I'm like, hold on, guys, got a call, and it's my grandfather calling me again. So I'm like, hey, granddad. He's like, hey, who is this? And I'm like, oh, it's me. I have a phone. So um, he definitely always was. I was I was granddad's little girl, and um, he he really took care of me, and. I mean, we would do so much. My granddad had the best cookies. Oh my God, he had like the vanilla. It's like, it's kind of like golden Oreos, but they weren't golden Oreos. And he had a jar full of them. And like, I would always go up there and take the cookies and I would always eat his cookies. He had all the good snacks, a uh, huge TV. So Asia was just living life. Asia was really living life when she came to granddad's house. He had, he has a basketball kind of court. It's like a concrete pavement back there. Um, my granddad also had dogs. I really wasn't rocking with them, but I never really saw them because I kind of kept my distance. But um, after church always, and our church is kind of right up the road, we would always come here. This would be our first stop before we go on that, down to my grandma's house. So this would always be the stop. Uh, back when he would be preaching, we would always be here at their sermons. And um, that's what we would just be here until nightfall, and then we'll go to grandma, grandmother's house. So I would always enjoy the time with him. and. He, we would always know Granddad's home if the light was on the porch. We would always kind of come down. We're like, oh, yep, he's up. So we'll go visit him all the time. And I just remember my dad would just pull up right here, and I'll open up the door, just bust out a 40 flat to the door. <laughs> I'll be so excited just to get to Granddad's house, and I'll get his mail and just everything. This is, and he had a garden as well, and he actually had roses. Wasn't roses in his garden? And we would pick roses from the garden. Yeah. So. And it's funny because my grandmother would always win yard of the year or the month in her neighborhood and my granddad would always win yard of the year in his neighborhood so both of my grandparents were really big on just nature and i feel like that was really honestly their connection to god like that is that is why i'm the person that i am because i had great people praying over me and that was their connection so for them to have a connect i wish i was i need to get into some nature then but they definitely always had like the green thumb and just really always kept stuff nice and neat so yeah so into just the passion of preaching and just being in preaching that he would get overheated and and mid-sermon he would have we would have to calm him down because that he just had that love and that grind and that passion to do what he loved and i think that's something that rubbed off on me and when i play is just having that passion and that desire to just give it your all till you can't give it anymore and that's something, and, and I kind of, it kind of scared me because I was like, Grandma, like, Mom, Granddad's passing out, like, what's going on? But he just gave so much into what he loved that it literally took it out of him. And that's something that I really try to do when I'm playing or just being a good person is doing it, not because of just doing it for everyone says it, but because you love it and you enjoy it in it, and it makes you feel good. And that's something that I really take from him. So he would literally, like, almost pass out in the pulpit yeah. on Sundays? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I, I, I can't think. Dad, what's the name of the church that wasn't here? It was um, Round, Top? Round Top? Yes. Oh, I have a great memory. <laughs> when it comes to my grandparents, I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, he he preached at Round Top. And I remember one sermon we went there. As an interim. As an interim. Yeah, as an interim. And he, and he, like, they had to lay him out on the, um, on the pulpit. Because he was just that into it. He gets into it. My grandfather, it, he changed when he was preaching. He was a whole different person. He, he talked different. Because, I mean, he kind of talked to me in the sweet grandfather voice. But when he, pre when he preached, it was like he was talking directly to you. He was giving his message. And he was making sure everyone understood it. And he just got so into it that he had. And my dad's like, come on. My dad would always call him Reverend. He's like, come on, Rev. Like, you got to get it together. And that's what he does now to me. Like, come on, A. You need to get it together. <laughs> So um, just to see that, and I was like kind of nervous, but at the same time, it, like I said, it kind of showed me. He really gave it his all, and that's what I love about him. He was so passionate in everything that he did, and 
and it rubbed out, rubbed off on me. So when you're huffing and puffing late in the fourth quarter, you think back on that? Yes, I'm like, <laughs> hey, I gotta give him my. This is the last stretch. I'm gotta push through. Yep. So yeah, and just see how happy my dad would be when we come home, come to his house. It's just he would always kind of take me on a tour. He's like, well, this is where my, this is where your uncle Preston's room was, and this is my room. And my grandmother, his wife Ethel Wilson, I didn't get a chance to meet. She passed away before I was born, but. Um, my dad and my granddad would always kind of tell me they see her in me so um i i take that as a compliment and i, I hopefully i wear it well wear it well but um yeah this is it's, it's always good to see just my dad how happy he is because this is his home 